everybody is dying to know about GLP-1 agonists. What are GLP-1 agonists? What is semi-glutide? They originally found this medication um, as a de derivative of uh, a substance that was found in lizards, actually. There was a lizard that was uh, found to feast once a year mm -hmm. and live without eating for an entire year or six months or to 12 months. And they wanted to study why this lizard was able to live without eating. And what they found was there was a, a, an incredible amount of GLP in, in this lizard. And as it turns out, this GLP peptide can actually serve to reduce appetite and manage blood sugar levels and also allow uh, you to survive without eating for prolonged periods of time. There's two uh, GLP agonists now that are predominant mm -hmm. in, in kind of the medical world now, and it's semaglutide, semaglutide. and terzipatide. And so semaglutide is the peptide that's found in what people traditionally know as Ozempic. And now there's one called Wegovi, which mm -hmm. is for obesity. Then you have terzipatide, which is not only a GLP agonist, it's also a GIP agonist. Mm -hmm. So it's a dual peptide agonist. And it's uh, the peptide that's found in uh, Zepbound, which is an obesity medication, and also Manjaro, as many people know for diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, so these medications are very multifaceted. Mm -hmm. uh, although they were originally, originally used for diabetic patients, they mm -hmm. have served to help patients lose weight and manage their obesity, and mm -hmm. they're very effective at that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think their uh, benefits to risk ratio are largely very favorable for people. Really? The risks are largely symptomatic, so to speak. You know, there's rare circumstances that people do have dangerous, you know, uh, reactions to medications. It's like that for every medication on the